this is a patient 60 years old uh, it was a road traffic accident so he came with uh, a fracture of uh, acetabulum it was mainly posterior column and uh, anterior column so both column fracture and uh, he had <coughs> sciatic nerve palsy and uh, if you can uh, see this uh, ct scan you can see the position of the head uh, this is the this is the head and it is a fracture through neck it was inside the pelvic cavity not working the next slide is not coming some problem setting sir you just click on it the slide will come the click on the slide yes there is a arrow on the left bottom yeah just click here ha huh? now you proceed with the slide just click on the photo ha huh? now just uh, do the right arrow then you will be able to change the slide no it's not working okay i am sharing the screen Yes, it's working now. Yeah. Slide is changing. Just a bit. Yeah. So uh, <coughs> this is the CT scan of the patient, and uh, this is another view, and uh, this is the three D view. You can see the position of the head. It has fracture, and it is inside the pelvic cavity. It's another view, and along with this fracture. there was i think this is iatrogenic uh, someone uh, outside make a distal distal femoral traction and uh, probably it is iatrogenic fracture made by that and there was distal femoral fracture it is not the last and this was the condition of the tibia in that patient and uh, this is the condition of the limb and uh, there was a foot drop totally and i started from distal tibia fracture i first fixed the distal tibia with a locking plate and uh, did the primary tear for the fracture it was the age was 60 and uh, it was a 7 days old case i thought that head is not viable and replaced is uh, primarily after opening the fracture through kl approach and uh, reduce the posterior column put two plates one leg screw and after that uh, done the thr with multi hole pinacle cup and this is the nailing of the tibia now i uh, like to discuss what should be the sequence in this type of cases to operate so i start from the pelvis as there was sciatic nerve palsy or uh, what i done uh, is okay because otherwise i cannot keep traction to the reduct for the reduction this is my first case my second case will start <coughs> from follow up uh, this is a case of fracture pelvis Oh, video is also not today. Is, there is a problem in our area in net, so Zoom is not working properly. Uh, the video is also not working. Anyway, this uh, there was no problem with this uh, follow up. The patient can uh, walk perfectly, and uh, what I like to show that uh, he can uh, make a squatting and. Uh, uh, take the cross leg sitting and this was the fracture there was iliac blade fracture and anterior column fracture what i am going to present want to present that this was the uh, quality of reduction and there was still some subluxation and uh, i am not satisfied with this the type of uh, reduction but it is a follow up after 3 month and uh, what the video i wanted to show it was all 3 month uh, follow up to uh, at the age of 3 month of the fracture but there was no problem so my message is to if you can maintain the congruency of the joint to some extent if not the accurate then also the patient is happy and uh, there is less problem of his day to day life 